Hey everybody, it's Larry 22 and it's time to do a Homebrew Wednesday. It's been a while. I posted that one uh, video, it was up 47 minutes and uh, it had all the reviews. Uh, I was a little slack on posting videos and uh, well I only had to do 10 videos so it's 47 minutes. Uh, you can go on to the, uh, if you want to uh, watch any of them, uh, you can go on to it and you can click on the time and everything. So, uh, sorry about that long one, but uh, that's how I did my videos. So, so anyways, so Bugs Bunny has showed up to, uh, this week. So, uh, my wife uh, has a, uh, a collection of Looney Tune glasses and she's, she said, hey, we're not using it for anything else. Why don't you use it for your homebrew Wednesdays? And I go, hey. That's a good idea. So cheers, Bugs Bunny, cheers. So tonight is the first time I've actually drank uh, a Mosaic Pale. So uh, it's actually come out a little bit darker than I thought. This is the first time I've actually used Kara Amber. And uh, it's, I did, this is the first time I did a Whirlpool with Mosaic and it is the flavor is just fantastic. I don't have much on the aroma, but it is. I can still smell a little bit, so a little bit of the uh, uh, the fruits and the mango. Not too much on the citrus, but uh, so. Anyways, this is actually really good. Uh, so I did. Uh, it was pale malt. I did two row. Uh, I did Munich. Put a little bit of carrot amber in it and uh, put some torrified wheat in it. So uh, I didn't use any uh, carapils because, but it looks like I'm getting some head retention there. I mean, I don't have much of a head. I just put it on. Uh, so I bit, I put it on like 12 psi and it's been about a week. So I didn't supercharge this one. Uh, but anyways. Last week I had uh, my buddy Nate from Under Table Brewing. He came down and visited, and uh, we did not get any video footage. Uh, I do have we snapped a couple pictures here and there, uh, but he was here for two days. Uh, we had a great time. He's he I took off a day of work, but he ended up having to work. So uh, we went to the uh, brewery O'Connor's. Uh, they just opened up a new one uh, here, uh, probably not even two minutes away from here. So we went and uh, visited O'Connor's, had a beer, had some tacos, Taco Tuesday, and then uh, what else we do? I think that was about it. I had some bad weather too that then. So anyways, I uh, wanted to let you know about the mo mosaic. So, uh, man, I'm going, I am going to like that one. So, so last weekend I actually did a, uh, a brew, which I brewed... I usually get good footage when I brew in the morning and at nighttime the footage turns out like crap so uh, so I don't have any footage for you for uh, for my last brew uh, I brewed the uh, a black IPA kind of kind of reminiscent of Nate's uh, from under table brewing who took first place but his is totally different he's got a couple of different hops but uh, our recipes are very similar it was kind of kind of shocked uh, I was actually supposed to enter my black IPA in, but uh, my second batch didn't turn out as well. So uh, this one, uh, what I did different was I actually uh, up my uh, my mash temp up to about 156. And uh, and Tony, just let you know that my my bricks reading was 15.6 on my black IPA, and I think that was 1.063 was my pre-boil gravity. So I collected uh, seven and a quarter. I did a 90 minute boil and it came out. I finished at five and a quarter, uh, five and a quarter gallons, which is perfect. So I'm gonna dry hop in the primary. I haven't done that yet. So it's been about 10 days, something like that. But I was waiting uh, uh, because I'm going to uh, do a, uh, my vanilla bourbon porter, uh, another big beer. I wanna uh, transfer that one also. So I'm gonna transfer that in the secondary, put some vanilla beans in it, and then I'm gonna let that one sit for three or four weeks or something like that. So, uh, so as let so, me be right back. Another thing that uh, I've kind of realized is when you travel, air travel. So when you air travel, I think 
another good use that this was a tool that I found out from uh, uh, time for another one Paul Wicksteed so I use this in one of my homebrew Wednesdays about weighing uh, to see how much it would weigh uh, a keg of beer when it's empty or when it's getting close to empty the, the gallons left so another use for this is to actually use it when you're traveling which I think maybe it's that's what it's for but when you go to a brew tuber's house that you can weigh your stuff before you leave normally I've never had a problem with how much it weighed but we got to use this Nate I gave him like a 12 pack of beer when he came to visit and he took it home and he needed this and I think he gained like 20 pounds in his luggage so uh, so another another uh, another use for the uh, luggage weight so so anyways so I think that's about all I got this week so uh, I think I'm gonna let you guys go and I will see you guys next week so cheers and cheers I think that's about it. That's all, folks. Peace.